Oboist domesticus, the common or domesticated oboe, consists of four parts, the most interesting of which is its characteristic beak-like double reed. The reed is sometimes used independently of other body parts, usually when the oboe arrives in a new environment and feels the need to assert its presence. <laughs> this is thought to be a territorial call, as other instruments become agitated and are often driven away by the sound of it. <laughs> Though it can be observed practicing before and during many types of rehearsals, when isolated from other instruments, the oboe, interestingly enough, rarely makes any sound of any kind. Rather, fascinated by its own double reed, the oboe can be seen spending hours, days, even weeks obsessively preening it. Extended isolation, however, can lead to various upsetting, self-solacing behaviors. <laughs> so, elbows are best kept in proximity to other instruments. It is important to note that domestic oboes are not terribly far removed from their wild ancestors, the highly volatile shawms and bombards. While generally mild-mannered, oboes have an intense, almost maternal feeling towards their reeds. If another instrument appears to have damaged an oboe reed, It is best advised for that instrument to flee the area immediately. <laughs> Though normally observed playing beautiful melody lines, it's important to note that the oboe can, in certain settings, be seen accompanying other instruments.
Kobo may resort to aggression. demonstrations have made you more comfortable with the idea of incorporating oboe into your own compositions in the future. One word of warning, however, if you are considering adopting a stray oboe, please note that they have unusually long memories, and if brought into contact with an instrument that has given previous offense, they may be disinclined to be forgiving. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 